this is a huge mystery. Now these ancient cultures also seem to have mythological statements that had a lot of numbers in them. Yes. And the numbers were very curious to you. I think the numbers are extremely important. There are there's a body of myths from all around the world that include what turn out to be expressed in the language of myth and the symbolism of myth. Mm. What they what they capture um, is extremely precise observations of a phenomenon called the precession of the equinoxes, right? Uh, which is everybody's heard about the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Um, and uh, most people are aware that we're living towards the end of the age of Pisces right. right now. But what that actually means is that if you stand at any point on the, uh, on, on the Earth um, on the 21st of March, an hour before dawn, and look due east, you'll see a constellation sitting on the horizon in the place where the sun will shortly rise. Mm -hmm. And that constellation for the last 2,000 or so years has been Pisces. But okay. because of a wobble on the axis of the Earth, which unfolds very, very slowly and it's very hard to observe, we're gradually tracking backwards. The sun as a pointer against the zodiac is gradually tracking backwards through the zodiac. One and degree every 72 one years. One degree every 72 years. That's the key, key figure. And it's moving through Price Pisces and into Aquarius. And, and the time will come very soon when, as you stand at dawn, looking due east on the 21st of March, the spring equinox, you'll see Aquarius on the horizon, not Pisces. Now, to observe this process um, is not easy, uh, and it requires, uh, it requires an, an, an accurate interest in astronomy, accurate astronomical observations, accurate solar observations. And, and for some reason, um, the numbers that relate to precession, as you rightly say, it unfolds at the rate of one degree every 72 years. There are 30 degrees to each house of, house of the zodiac, so that means right. each age is 2,160 years. And since there are 12 houses of the zodiac, that gets you to 25,920 years for what's called the great year, right. when the entire cycle completes and comes back to the beginning again. Um, and and um, it's astonishing that a whole sequence of numbers related to this this particular issue, which really, again, is a relatively recent discovery of our civilization, are found in myths that go back to the dawn of time. Um, and well, and people should be aware that, of course, the cycle changes in 2012. So all this yeah. buzz around 2012, it's important to know that there's all these ancient cultures that have all the numbers whose equations resolve to this year 2012. It's, it's very important to know that, yeah. and, and specifically because the year 2012, um, which I also go into at length in Fingerprints of the Gods, the year 2012 mm. um, it, and its importance is signaled to us by the Mayan calendar. Right. Again, if you go in depth into the numerical system within the Mayan calendar, what do you find? You find the number 72 and multiples wow. of the number 72 and divisors of the number 72 all over the Mayan calendar, so it's another that? it's another processional object. So it's like a double check. Um, when when I find these numbers um, locked into architecture, or myth, or really um, uh, scientific artifacts like the Mayan calendar, mm. then then I know that I'm dealing with the same system, mm. and it's very old, and it comes down to us out of the mists of uh, prehistory, and I believe it is a worldwide legacy. Uh, from a lost civilization.